Welcome to Mathematics 7, last part of week 1. Module topic, Operations of Sets. Operation of Sets. Union of Sets, the set of elements, all elements present in both groups in the union of sets. The collection of all parts in either of both sets represented by A, union of B, and written as A, union of B. It is produced by adding or com combining the elements of two or more sets. So let's have an example. Set A is 3, 5, 7, and set B is 4, 8, 9. So what is the answer for union of set A and set B is A, union of B, which are 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8, and 9. So meaning to say, all you need to do is to combine the elements of two or more sets. So that is what you call the union of sets. How about in the diagram? So as you can see in the diagram, we had set A and set B. So what will be the answer? A, union of B, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I just combine all the elements to create a union of sets. How about intersection of sets? The set containing all elements shared by groups A and B in the intersection of sets indicated by A intersection B. These joint sets are those with no common factors. Let's have an example. Set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set B, 4, 5, 7. So what is the intersection of set A and set B? A intersect B at 4 and 5. So as you can see, in set A, we have 4 and 5. In set B, we have 4 and 5. So that is the intersection of sets. How about in the diagram? So based on the diagram, so we have set A and set B. So as you can see, set A and set B intersect at 2 and 9. So that is how to get the intersection using the diagram. Complement of sets. The set of elements that aren't in set A but are instead part of universal set is known as set A. Or A, that the apostrophe is a representation of complement, which is the complement of set A. So let's have an example. Set A. 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, and set B, 5, 9, 11, 13. So if we're going to get the complement of A, set A, the answer is 11, 13. So elements that aren't in set A, but are instead part of the universal set. So if you're going to look at the given set A and B, so how did I get 11 and 13? So 5, we have 5 at set B, we have 9, we have 9. So what is missing uh, element is 11 and 13. Okay, in, in complement of set B, so we have 5 and we have 9. So the, the remaining element at set A is 7, 10, and 12. So all you need to do is to get the element that aren't in the set. So if you're going to talk about set A, so compare it to set B, so we have 5 and 9. But in set A, there is no 11 and 13. So in complement of B, just compare set B to set A. So we have, nine, uh, we have 5 at set A, we have 9 at set uh, A. But there is no 7, 10, and 12 in set B. So the answer is 7, 10, and 12. How about in example number 2 using a diagram? So we have complement of A. Okay. The complement of A is 6, 10. So if you're going to look at the drawing, this is set, set A. So I mean to say, in set A, there is no 6 and 10. So that will be the answer. In complement of B, so this is the complement of B, this is set B. So 
All you need to do is to get the number, uh, the element that is not written in the set. Okay, so this is set B, but the elements that are not present in set B are 1, 3, 7, and 8. So that will be the complement of B. Okay, next, cardinality of set. Okay, so the cardinality of set is the number of elements contained in the group. This, uh, as we mentioned earlier, all you need to do is to look at set A, A, B, C, D, E, and set B is 10, 11, 12. So how to get cardinality of set A? So all you need to do is to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 is the answer for cardinality set of A. Then for B, 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 3. In this diagram, if you're going to look at the cardinality of set A, so all you need to do is to look at the circle for set A and then count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, and for B, look at the drawing. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the cardinality set of A is 6 and B is 4. Difference of sets. If sets A and B are two sets, then the set that contains element of both sets but none of set B. So, difference, you just subtract. It's denoted as A minus B. So, let's look at the example. Set A is 1, 5, 6, 7 and set B is 5, 6, 8. A minus B. So, how to get A minus B? So, we have set A then subtract B, so we have 5 and 6, so remove 5 and 6 because you're going to remove the number that is subtracted, okay? So 5 and 6, 5 and 6, remove it, the answer is 1 and 7 for set A. And how about if you're going to subtract B minus A? So we have 5 and 6, remove 5 and 6, the remaining element in set B is 8. So that's the answer. How about if you're going to use a diagram, A minus B? So all you need to do is to subtract. Okay, so we have here, this is A and this is B. So just remove the number from A and B. Okay, that is in the middle. So that is 2, 9, remove it. So the remaining is 1, 3, 7, 8. So this is 1, 3, 7, 8. How about B minus A? So same procedure. So we have 2 and 9. So we need to remove that. So that the remaining in set B is 6 and 10. Okay? So proceed to learning task number 5. That ends our lesson for the week. Congratulations to all of you.